Hi everyone, I'm Dana here at the Pendance Film Festival hanging with Ani and Kaylin discussing their film, The Short History of the Long Road, which comes into theaters on May 15th. That's really exciting. This has been a bit of a journey for this film. Yes. It's, it's been it's definitely been a long road. The, the <laughs> title is turning out to be very apt. Yeah, puns intended, right? Yeah, this has actually been in the film uh, circuit, in the festival circuit, for nearly a year. So how does it feel with this finally being released after all this time? It's great. So We're good. so thrilled. <laughs> we, we premiered at Tribeca in April, and this is... I want to say our 20th festival wow. or thereabouts. Yeah. Um, and this one feels very special to us because we actually did our post-production in Toronto uh, with Eggplant Pictures and we're so excited for them to be able to see it on the big screen, especially at TIFF. Yeah, of course, absolutely. We're really happy to have you here. And you both clearly have an amazing collaboration relationship. And can you discuss the process and the relationship going into this film in terms of a director and cinematographer standpoint? Yeah, so we've been working together for eight years now. We have a production company called Bicephaly Pictures, and we do commercials and docs, and this is. Short History is our second feature film together. So we are in communication every single day. Yeah, yeah it helps going into production on a film like this because we talk constantly and we were working on it for four years before wow. we shot it. So by the time we were on set, it was like we barely had to speak to each other. We knew exactly what we wanted and just kind of did it wordlessly on set. And Kaylin's a rare unicorn who's a, pr a cinematographer and a producer and so between the two of us we've really been in the trenches for wow. quite some time. Wow. So how important is it to champion films then that are written, directed, produced and shot by women? It's so important. <laughs> I mean there aren't nearly enough still in yes. 2020 and so we're happy to be doing what we do and repping the ladies. And there, there, I mean, there are a lot of films out there by women, too. It's just harder to see them. And I think you have to make an effort to go find those movies and watch them and support them with your dollars. Yeah, do you have any opinions on the uh, past Oscars with the nominations and the lack of women being nominated, especially directors? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you got a million things to say about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's ridiculous. It makes no sense. Uh, there were so many amazing movies this year literally staring at a poster for the best movie right now, Portrait of a Lady on Fire, mm -hmm. should have been nominated, yeah. like changed everything. Like that movie is gonna like be in cinema history and for it to not be recognized is a tragedy for everybody. Would you say it's just kind of lack of motivation for people to just not seek out films that are written, produced, directed, and shot by women? Uh, no, it's sexism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It's exactly what it is. <laughs> yep, we're calling it out, and that's what it is. Also, this uh, film that you have, it was post production was in Toronto almost a year ago. So, this is kind of a full circle for you having it screened here. How was that experience for you? Because you're not from Toronto. We are no. not. We're not. But we no, love it. It here. feels like a real homecoming. Yeah. It's nice. It feels like a, a bit of a cast and crew screening here. We had one in uh, New Mexico where we shot the film, and now getting to come here, this is kind of like the other piece of the puzzle. Getting to celebrate with them is going to be fun, too. And they were such a huge part of the process. We were in Toronto pretty much like nearly a year ago to the day, and we were doing all of the post work here, all of the sound work, all of the color grade, and the eggplant's exceptional, and we can't <laughs> wait to work with them again. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, we're really excited to have you here at the Pendance Film Festival, and really excited for your film to be released on May 15th. <laughs> Thanks for having us. We're really happy to be here. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Ani and Kaylin. I really appreciate it. Once again, we are here downtown Toronto at the Pendance Film Festival. Over and out. Well, Over. Yeah. We got